then how much more comes with Shamatha, Shine, this king of concentration? Then with that, maybe unbelievable ecstasy comes with it. Then your mind says, I want those good qualities. I very much would like to have them. Then this is another antidote to your laziness. Then due to that previous uh, mind, uh, the next antidote to laziness is tsundru. Tsundru. Then this is you're trying, you make efforts. Uh, you try very hard as a result of that wanting, uh, that cr craving, good kind of craving. Then you want shamatha very much because you've got a little taste of thing in it. Then you very much want it. And now you're doing it due to that wanting. Then that's an antidote to laziness. Then another antidote to laziness is Xinjiang. Uh, Xinjiang is then uh, you've got a little taste of good meditation, and then you want shamatha. Then you work very hard, and in working very hard and doing it again and again and again your mind becomes very easy, blissful, and your body serviceable. Then your, mind, your body becomes very blissful and serviceable. Then you feel good uh, by minute. It's like people who do yoga. And they're like, why do you do yoga? Oh, I feel, I feel great. I love yoga. It makes, it, feel, it makes you feel great. Then that's why they do it. <clears throat> then that's what you, Xinjiang is, practice ease. You've practiced it, you're feeling really great, then you just want to keep on doing it. Then the number two uh, obstacle, problem with med getting good meditation is Dhamma uh, Jepa. Dhamma Jepa. Dhamma uh, Jepa, that means uh, forgetting the instruction. Forgetting the instruction. But it's not forgetting the instruction. The instruction is to keep your mind on the object. So here you're forgetting the object. Your mind goes off the object. You put it on there, and then your mind very much goes to the store for a gallon of milk, or what you're going to have tonight is dinner. And then it's not on the object of, that you set before you started doing your meditation. Then that's a big problem. Then the antidote uh, to that is Dempa, as we talked before, Dempa. Dempa is recollection or remembering. Remembering what? The object. Remembering the object. Don't forget it. Then put your mind back on. Uh, yeah. The number three uh, problem obstacle to meditation is Jingwa uh, Dang Gupa. Jingwa uh, Gupa, dullness and agitation, mental dullness and agitation. Then there's subtle mental, mental dullness and a gross mental dullness. And then there's subtle mental agitation and uh, gross mental agitation. Then the antidote to these guys is Sheshin. Sheshin. What is Sheshin? Watchfulness. Then this is a warning buzzer mind. Uh, then you set this mind like a mousetrap or, or a... In the war movies, then they have a campground and then they put the little strings on the campground and then when the enemy comes and trip the wires it's like a booby trap mind then you set the booby trap for uh, uh, dullness or agitation then you set it very uh, set these that warn you oh no they've come our unwanted guests of dullness and agitation have come then we have to take measures to fix it. Problem here is that when you're on the first and second levels, 
you've never even known good meditation. So the difficulty is recognizing properly uh, gross and uh, gross and subtle dullness and gross and subtle agitation. Or you can spend, uh, you know, a year or two on lousy meditation, which is what many Americans do. They spend, what did you do in your meditation? Well, I spaced out, or I thought about a black void, or uh, my meditation, I thought about my kids, or uh, then that's bad. Uh, you have to first establish in your mind good object and good meditation before you can even know these uh, when these things come up. But if you uh, focus nicely, you can see these. In, throughout your entire day, these things come up in your mind. Uh, and then you should take appropriate uh, antidotes or actions to subdue them. Uh, then subtle, subtle dullness. Then uh, with subtle dullness, you have your mind uh, on the object nicely. Uh, and you have clarity. You can see that object clearly. But there is no intensity. There's like a, a very subtle haze. A very, it doesn't, there isn't like a, it's clear, but not real clear. You have nyecha, and you have ngarme, fixation and intensity. Uh, no, you, no, you don't have intensity. No, yeah. You do not have intensity. You have fixation and you have clarity, but you do not have that like, uh, can be likened to a man uh, holding a pen and writing with a pen. Then if you don't uh, hold hard enough, can't write. Then if you hold too hard, uh, then it hurts your hand, and you can't write. Maybe you can still write, but it's going to look like poop. Uh, then perfect meditation is just the right amount of clearness and fixation the mind holding to the object. Constant struggle in the, early, the lower levels to eradicate dullness and agitation, both subtle and uh, gross, and uh, keeping your mind on that object nicely. Uh, then there's gross dullness. Then gross dullness is you have, your mind stays on the object, but you do not have the clarity that you had with uh, subtle dullness. It's lost its clear appearance. Then agitation. Agitation is a mental wandering. Uh, then real gross agitation is you're trying to sit there and meditate and your mind, as I said before, is uh, in your refrigerator at home. Then that's very, uh, then subtle agitation is uh, uh, your mind is on the object but cannot focus nicely. Uh, antidote for agitation is halupa. Uh, often, when your mind goes off to many places, you are trying too hard, trying too hard, 